so welcome back everybody to the student community channel today we are going to solve the week 3 graded assignment of computational thinking so we'll go from the first question the first question goes like in the shopping bills data set the produce the procedure count bill counts the number of bills from big bazaar the total amount more than the average total bill amount assume that the variable avg holds the value of average total bill amount and choose the correct code fragment okay so we have to fill this code so uh, what uh, it has asked is that if there are some pile of cards here for example and uh, we'll pick each card from it and we'll see the total bill amount in every card for example if x is the card then x dot total bill amount should be greater than average that is written here assume the variable avg and the total amount should be more than the average total bill amount so this should be greater than average now okay so this is the first condition the second condition is that it counts the number of bills from big bazaar so only one shop that is the big bazaar should be there so if in any card for let's say x the shop name the shop name should be equal to big bazaar okay so we need to follow these only two conditions and these two con uh, conditions will increase the value of count by one so count is here declared to zero so let's see so let's read the first option the first option says that the shop name is equal to big bazaar so this is the entry condition if this condition is satisfied we will enter in this part of the code which is enclosed in the brackets so if the shop name is big bazaar then we entered here and the total bill amount is greater than average then count will increase by one so this is the correct sequence because uh, this is what we want actually because when with the shop name is big bazaar and the total bill amount is greater than average then count will increase by one so for example if in the card the shop is big bazaar and we have entered here but the total bill amount is not greater than average it is might it might be less than average or it might be equal to average so this condition will become false and it will come out from this these brackets and eventually it will come out from these brackets so without any increase in the value of one it will go out so this is the right option uh, because uh, for example if there is a card having big bazaar on it and having total bill greater than average then first it will check this condition okay the condition becomes right then it will enter here the total bill amount is greater than average yes it is so count will increase by one exiting from here and here so this is the right option now let's go to the second option the second option says that the total bill amount should be greater than average and the shop name is big bazaar so you can see they these are both the same uh, there is just only the change in the positions of these conditions that is the total bill amount uh, greater than average is written here and the big bazaar shop is written here the both will behave exactly same for example if there is a card having total bill amount greater than average so it will enter here but the shop name is not big bazaar so without doing anything it will get exit without increasing the value of count and but if there is a shop big bazaar and also total bill amount is greater than average then first it will enter here after seeing the bill amount then it will check the shop name which will big bazaar and then here the count value will increase by one so eventually it will exit from here then it will exit from here exactly it's exactly same like in the first option so this this option is also correct so uh, just see there is change in the position in the first first it was uh, the first condition was here then it was here let's say this uh, shop name condition is first one and this is the second condition 
actually this does not matter because both of the conditions should be right so this is just the number I am giving so here it has asked second first and first second the first condition is asked second here so the both are correct in third option there is the first condition so the condition is exactly the same that is a total bill amount greater than average and shop name is big bazaar but here it is and here so what is the meaning of and uh, you might have read in the 12th class that and gives us true value only if both the conditions that is the first condition and the second condition gives the true value so in this the both the conditions are checked at the same time that is uh, for example here the first condition was big bazaar and the second one was the average bill here both the conditions are checked at the same time so but we don't mean the time here but we mean the conditions the conditions are true and the count value is also increasing even so this option is also correct the fourth option is wrong because here is the wrong condition given it will increase the value of count in all such cases where shop name is big bazaar but the total bill amount is less than average which is not asked in the question so only three options are correct here that are one two and three now moving on to the second question the second question goes like the following pseudocode is executed using the scores data set what will be the value of variable z at the end of execution so there are four variables which are declared to zero here that is some t some m some p and some c so and uh, there is also a while loop which goes like this read the top card x from pile 1 some t is equal to some t plus x total so and some m is equal to some m plus x math dot mathematics some p is equal to some p plus x dot physics some c is equal to some c plus x dot chemistry first we will calculate what are these some some t and some m and all these are what are actually these variables so let's go to a new page and let's declare a pile for example let this be a pile of some cards this is the pile 1 and uh, here are the marks PCM and the total so I am not writing any marks here let's see now we picked the card from the pile 1 so we picked any card let's say we picked the first card and the x dot physics will denote the physics marks x dot chemistry will denote the chemistry marks x dot m will denote the maths marks and x dot t will denote the total marks but we know that this total marks is equal to all these marks now let's read some t is equal to some t plus x total so some t was originally 0 so the sum t which was originally 0 is saying that will increase by itself plus x dot total so this is 0 x dot total is uh, this x dot t so the new value of sum t will be x dot t okay now let's read the second statement the second statement is do the same with sum m and sum p and sum c so sum m will denote nothing but sum m plus x dot m so the sum m was 0 so x dot m so new value of sum m will be x dot m so same thing will be done with chemistry and same thing will be done for physics x dot c and x dot p okay 
so this card will go to pile 2 according to the question 